Khan as Heraklion. It was only a legend. Appearing in a few rare inscriptions and ancient texts, the city of Tonis Heraklion was not something anyone expected to find, and no one was looking for it. So it was something of a shock when French archaeologist Frank Gaudio, looking for 18th century French warships, saw a colossal face emerge from the watery shadows. Gaudio had stumbled upon Thonis Heraklion completely submerged 6.5 kilometers off Alexandria's coastline. Among the underwater ruins were 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure trove of gold coins, statues standing at 16 feet, and most notably the remains of a massive temple to the god Amun Jureb, and the tiny sarcophagi for the animals that were brought there as offerings. The ruins and artifacts made from granite and diorite are remarkably preserved, and give a glimpse into what was, 2,300 years ago, one of the great port cities of the world. The harbour of Tonis Heraklion, the Egyptian and Greek names of the city, controlled all the trade into Egypt. Built around its grand temple, the city was crisscrossed with a network of canals, a kind of ancient Egyptian Venice, and its islands were home to small sanctuaries and homes. Once a grand city, today its history is largely obscured and no one is quite sure how it ended up entirely underwater, 